All right, what's up, guys? So we on Saturn and Aries now. Saturn, the old ass father time, freaking ring having ass Saturn with you know the planet of freaking structure and how one see re sees reality. You know what I'm saying? So let's break this down a little more, right? So what is structure? And I mean, I don't have to tell you how you how you see reality because you already know how to do that. You know, it's like you know the reality of the situation is is you know we're freaking. Like I'm in, I'm in a freaking. That's a board right there. This is freaking insulation. You know, we're keeping, we're keeping the cold out of the ground and the heat out of the, out of the freaking, you know, basement or some shit. Because there ain't no heat down here. I mean, you know, there could be, you know, just normal like earth heat and stuff and geothermal. But eh, it is what it is. Anyways, freaking Saturn is a uh, Saturn is like how you how you like interact with structure in your like day to day life. So it's like, you know, it's like, oh, okay, this is a law. This is a freaking brick wall. I'm not going to try to run through it because I know that it's solid and I can't freaking dematerialize myself, go through and rematerialize myself on the other side, you know? And then on the other side, and it's also like, you know, like, oh, if I shoot someone and I get caught, you know, it's like, like seeing the structure in something is kind of like saying, you know, like, you know, you shouldn't do the crime if you're not ready to do the time. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But, um, but yeah, and then the other way you, people kind of engage with it is by like, you know, setting rules and limits for themselves. So let's, you know, let let let's uh let let's talk to the youth a little bit here on this one. So say if you got nothing to do, right? You're just home at the house, you're just chilling, you know, and you have Netflix, but you don't really have any like hobbies or ambitions to do for yourself. So you're kind of just watching Netflix and you're not really getting creative, right? So you know, setting up, if you do have like structure, but you don't really have creativity, you're probably going the route of, oh, okay, let me just like, let me just, let me, let me just watch all of this freaking Netflix and just binge a series for weeks on end, you know, cause I got nothing to do or some shit like that. Right. But in, you know, in reality, at, like that's not a very good structure. That's like, if that's, you know, since this is Saturn and Aries, that's the, the exact same structure that that's about this structure that they're level at because they freaking fall in Saturn, but we're not at that point yet. So setting structure on that would be like, oh, okay, I can only binge watch one season a day. Oh, okay. I, and I'm going to stick with that and I'm not going to push it and I'm not going to break that boundary because when you create structure, you're creating a boundary restriction or limit in some way, shape or form around like a certain aspect of life. Okay. So now that like, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to get more into it as I start like breaking it down through the eyes of Aries, because, you know, I should just make a whole entire video on freaking Saturn if we're going to do that. And that's vibration. But you know, there's videos out there so you can manage for now and I'm getting to it, but Saturn and Aries, right? So Aries. So once again, going through all the planetary alignments, if you made it this far, you probably know that like, you know, a freaking, a freaking planet is like an aspect of life that we borrow onto and we engage with. And it's like its own body of energy. And when it's in a sign, that's the sign it's angling. So it's like, oh, okay, this is the aspect of experience I'm angling. So I'm going to have this freaking like, you know, shades and lens through it that I'm looking through, you know? So that's going to be, that's going to be how that's working. And with Aries, Aries is, you know, it's the red hot, it's the first freaking planet. It's the I am, you know? So that's just, that's just what that is. And that's what Saturn's looking through. So how does this appear, right? Well, to explain this energy, let me kind of tell, let me, let me, you know, spin you a little yarn, weave you a story here. So we know all those movies and like all those things where there's like, uh, oh shit, let me start it this way. So, you know, like I said, Saturn, Saturn's kind of like old man father time. It's like, oh, okay, you know, it takes this long to do this, takes this long to do that. You need this to survive, that to survive, to have a good life. And once you have your structure, then you can move on, you know? So, and then Aries is kind of like, Aries is sort of like, let's look at Aries kind of like a young sort of like high school jock type of dude. That's, um, that's just like, you know, he's, he's the freaking, I wouldn't say he's the quarterback of a football team. Cause you know, that's more of a Leo situation where they'd be getting their shine on and like, they don't actually like do that much on the field. But, um, but, uh, like, you know, whereas Aries, Aries, what would Aries be in a freaking football situation? I don't know, man. I, I want to say they're like a lineman that bashes through, but I don't know sports like that. I'm just kind of talking out of my ass in terms of sports. Cause I, you know, I only know by association, if you know me, but, um, but yeah, here, let me think about this. I don't know. Anyways, but, uh, you know, Aries is kind of like, just like a jock dude, sort of like one of them, like asshole guys that like, you know, sort of like gets out and like takes what they want, you know, that, that, that's kind of where Aries at if we're speaking in high school terms. But, um, so like to imagine like the energy of this planet, let's, let's break it down. Like, let's say, let's say we got one of them movies where it's a farm situation and it's like a very like rigid old ass father that grew up in the freaking depression. That's like, you know, like I ain't have nothing when I grew up, so I'm holding on to it now. And like, maybe there's a little bit of a psychological issue to where they're hoarders at this point because they ain't have nothing when they were growing up. But aside from that, uh, you know, they're kind of just like, 
uh, old man Saturn is freaking just like, it's just, it's, it's all about like, oh, you got big city dreams, kid. You want to do this? No, you're going to be working at this farm your whole life because it's safe, secure. I know it works. And as long as you do your chores, you make this food, we're going to have food security and you need to go out and do too much because we already got it here. So I don't even know why you're thinking about, you know, moving to the city, going to freaking, you know, like art school or something and going, and going to be a big businessman that's going to go move out all around and like do your thing, you know? And Aries is like, art school, where the fuck you get that idea? I even do art school and it's just like not nah, it's just it's just they're going back forth back forth all over about this situation talking about like i just want to do this i want to go throw these parties i want to go see these freaking women in the high school i want to go do this that i want to be in the closet with this girl i want to be in the freaking i want to be freaking at the party drinking all this with that girl you know i want to be doing this and then you know old man saturn's the one freaking ringing the bell kicking your bed at freaking 5 a.m because you got to milk the cows at the farm and go do your chores and harvest and aries is just like oh god damn it i don't want to do this i want to do what i do want to what, what i want in the freaking moment you know and that's kind of like that's just sort of the relationship they got going on it just like it just does not work they do not get along whatsoever Aries is all about I want to have fun and I want to do what I want and I want to have control and autonomy right now and the old man Saturn's just like no you got to do this 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 and that so that we are okay I don't want to be the only one walk around here I'm gonna die at some point you know this, this is the reality of the fucking situation you gotta be strong enough to know how to farm this farm that clean this clean that you have to know how to make money build the house, be a handyman, you have to know how to do all this shit, and Aries is just like, man, I'm just trying to live for me, you know, that's what, that's what a freaking Saturn and like, that's what a freaking Saturn and Aries, that's their, that's their relationship, man, that's what they got going on, you know, Aries, like, Saturn freaking falls in Aries, that's when it's asleep, and it's just like, fuck it, man, like, if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna do what I want to do, I might as well burn this house down now, you know, and that's just the fact of that matter, and that's just the fact of the matter of the situation, you know what I'm saying, so like, so, so like, how this sort of like plays out in people is it's just like they are very averse to rules. They're very, you know, like if they're gonna create their own structures for themselves, they will drop it at the they'll it'll just leave it at the drop of a fucking hat just to go do something else because, you know, what Saturn Saturn's asleep here, doesn't give a fuck about the reality of the situation. If you freaking got a DU like like this may be an extreme example, but if you got a DUI last night from going out to the party freaking drinking and the co- you spent all night in the drunk tank and then you're like, Oh, you know, boot and rally, you know, right at the freaking morning, that's like that's like that is an extreme version of freaking Saturn and Aries, but you know if the freaking if the vibe is right and they're catching that fire and the freaking air is like blow they got a freaking like crazy ass air sign friend that's being like yeah man let's drink it was fun we got into this situation it was crazy let's keep going 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 you know like like a Saturn Aries like person they may be like eh, fuck it you know like I don't see any point I want to get drunk you know I had a freaking horrible last night I got a freaking DUI I was in the drunk tank fuck it man I was want to do that you know like that's just kind of it's kind of um you know it's kind of <laughs> that's how a Saturn and Aries person would do it, man, they just, they just don't give a fuck about anything, man, I mean, I don't want to say, like, they don't give a fuck about anything like that, but they just don't give a fuck about rules, regulations, limits, like, giving a Saturn and Aries person a curfew, it's like, it's like, that would just go in one ear and out the other, but, um, I mean, the good thing that some of these signs is, you know, they're very, like, if you're, like, if if you're living on the road and you're like a freaking gypsy or something, these signs can keep it moving, man. They're like, oh, okay, I like living on the road. I like doing this. I like doing that. You just gotta like, you just gotta know how to like to spin it and make them actually enjoy structure. Is this just like their their like structure and routine has to be like just creativity, you know? Like they just they have to be the ones like creating the freaking structure that works for them. Like they can't and don't even hold them up to following it because like the likelihood of that is just like, oh my god, we already been over that. That ain't gonna happen. You know, like I said, oh, a good example of like a, an internal like Saturn Aries relationship is like if you've ever seen Sex Education on Netflix, like you know the freaking um the the big jock like asshole dude that has the dad that's like the superintendent of the freaking school and they just don't get along at all and he's just like yo fuck you and then he's like gay on the low but he's still like kind of like masculine and like wants to play on the freaking team or whatever and it's just like 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 I wouldn't be surprised if like that that dude was a freaking Aries and then he had his freaking I mean I don't know he kind of keeps shit on the low so he might be more of a Scorpio alignment but same Mars influence you know what I'm saying but um yeah I mean that's just how it goes man what I say I said Saturn and Aries people they don't really follow structure they can can create the shit out of their own structure, even though they don't want to, it'll just happen by association in a way, because they don't give a fuck about it so hard, everybody that's surrounding them will kind of create it for them and put them in it, and then it'll be like, no, but I get the the importance of it, because you've told me this a thousand times, and I fucked up a thousand times, but, you know, anyways, I mean, that's pretty much it, man, it was just riffing, uh, but yeah, let's go over a little bit of the, let's go over to the, 
structure of it so you can so you can figure it out for yourself so saturn is the planet of structure and how one see reality so you know you can look at structure as like boundaries restrictions limits you know so it's just like if i drink six beers i'm gonna throw up you know but if i drink five i'll get real buzzed i get to lay down on some cool concrete because i may be really drunk but at least i won't throw up and as long as i stay hydrated i'll be good you know that's a limit for yourself and then a way you can see a limit in your external reality is it's like oh okay I have a freaking, you know, I have, I've fucked up my tire. I had to put on the donut. The donut only has 50 miles, so I can only drive to the freaking like Walmart down the street to go get a freaking drink, and then that's it. Ooh. But yeah, then you got to get a new tire. But I mean, that's about it. Anyways, uh, peace. I gotta make more videos.